Hi friends, happy Wednesday. Today we're gonna learn something called author's purpose. Say author's purpose. Great, author's purpose is why the author chose to write the story. Now, there are three different reasons why they might write the story. They might do it to persuade you, to inform you, or to entertain you. Whenever we're talking about persuading, that means the author is trying to get you to do or try something. So think about commercials. Whenever you see a commercial for your favorite chips or maybe your favorite shoes, they're trying to convince you to buy it. Or whenever you're reading a story, you might hear words like, I think, I believe, you should. Those are all sentence starters that are trying to convince you to do or try something. Now, when the author is trying to inform you of something, that means they're giving you information that teaches you facts. That means they're teaching you real things that really happen in real life. So think about informational text and nonfiction text. Freeze, pause the video and answer what a nonfiction text is or an informational text is. Ready? Yeah, an informational text or a nonfiction text is a story that is about it's a story about something real. So it might be teaching you about ants. It might be teaching you about whales. It might be teaching you about snails. It can be teaching you about anything that is real. You also might see newspaper articles. Those are, kind, those are the texts that inform you. They tell you about something that's really happening in real life. And the last one, entertain. The author is trying to make you enjoy the story. So think about fiction texts like our story Jamaica's Find. That's an, that's good. The author wrote that to entertain you. All right. When we read our story today, it is going to be our job to determine the author's purpose. What is author's purpose again? Pause the video and tell someone in your home what author's purpose means. Ready? Yeah, author's purpose is why the author is writing the story. Now, what are the three different reasons why an author might write the story? Pause the video and tell someone in your home. Ready? They might write it to persuade you, to inform you, or to entertain. You can always look back at this anchor chart when you're trying to determine what the author's purpose is. And it's gonna be super helpful today for our story. When we read our story today, it is going to be your job to determine the author's purpose. Are you ready to get started? Give me a sign thumbs up if you're ready. All right, let's get started. A pig parade is a terrible idea. Hmm. Let's see. Like most children, you have probably thought to yourself at one time or another, I bet a pig parade would be a lot of fun. And yes, a pig parade certainly sounds like fun. It's even fun to say. Go ahead and say pig parade a few times. Fun, right? All right, let's keep going. After all, what could be more fun than gathering a few hundred pigs together for a grand parade and then watching them proudly march together in perfect formation down the finest boulevard of your hometown? This looks kind of silly, right? Hmm, I wonder, do you think we could figure out what the author's purpose is? Probably not yet, but I do know that I could cross one of them out, one of the options out. I'm seeing pigs dressed up in outfits and playing instruments. Is that something that can really happen in real life? Silent thumbs up, silent thumbs down. No. So which one is could it not be? What? Which out of all the three different options for our author's purpose, which one could it not be? Take a minute and determine and tell a person in your home which one it can't be. I agree. I don't think it could be. I don't think the author's trying to inform us of anything. These aren't facts because we know that pigs can't dress around in like outfits and play instruments. That's silly. So we know inform is already not an option. Now let's see if it's entertain or persuade. The only problem is a pig parade is a terrible idea. <gasps> Freeze. Did they just give us an opinion? Is it a fact that a pig parade is a terrible idea? We don't know that to be true. It sounds like an opinion, and I know whenever we're talking about opinions, that's usually under persuade. Let's keep going. I don't want to give my answer just yet. Let's keep going. For one thing, pigs hate to march. They prefer to snuffle, which is kind of like walking with your nose. Snuffling is fine when trying to find leftover apple skins and acorns around the barnyard, but snuffling is simply an inappropriate way to conduct yourself along a parade route. 
Mm, I agree. Snuffling would be a little silly for a parade. That's just one reason why a pig parade is a terrible idea. Ooh. I remember with our opinion writing back in school, we gave our opinion and then we gave a reason. That's kind of like what they did just now. They said that snuffling would be a bad idea. They said that a pig parade would be a bad idea. And then they just gave us one reason about the snuffling. Hmm. Seems like the author's purpose might be persuade. We're definitely seeing a lot of opinions here. But I'm also feeling pretty entertained by this because it has a lot of fun pictures. Let's keep going. Also, pigs absolutely refuse to wear majorette outfits. Even if you are able to find, find enough majorette outfits for all of your pigs, which is a difficult job in and of itself, just try getting those hundreds of pigs to put them on. Hmm, that's a second reason. It would be pretty tough. They will not do it. Perhaps they consider majorette uniforms unflattering. Nonsense. Everybody looks sharp in a majorette uniform, even pigs, especially pigs. But when you try to when you try explaining that to them, they just look at you as if you are speaking a language that they do not understand. Hmm, let's keep going. Again, a pig parade is a terrible idea. You know, before I started this book, I was kind of feeling like a pig parade wouldn't be that bad of an idea, but I don't know, my mind is starting to change. Maybe it is a bad idea. You cannot have a parade without floats, right? Well, forget it. Pigs don't care about floats. They don't care about all that time and energy you spent creating the three little pigs float or the Wilbur from the pig from Charlotte's web float. In fact, the only floats pigs care about are the root beer floats, which they love. Hmm, that's another reason why a pig parade wouldn't, wouldn't be a good idea. They really are giving us a lot of opinions and reasons here. I kind of feel like I'm being convinced to believe that pig parades are bad. Then there's a matter of music. Pigs have horrible taste in music. If you give a group of pigs a, a group of pigs marching band instruments to play, do you think they'll play good, spirited marching band music? Do you think they will? Silent thumbs up, silent thumbs down. Yeah, I kind of think that they probably won't either. No, they will not. They will play sad, sad country music ballads with titles like, my tears are wet because my mud's gone dry and I just want to plop in this bucket of slop. That kind of music is fine for slow dancing at hoedowns, but it is not appropriate for, an, for a parade. Face it, a pig parade is a terrible idea. Hmm, they're restating their opinion again. I wonder what the author's purpose could be. Hmm. Finally, there are giant balloons to consider. Everybody knows that giant balloons are the best part of any parade. Well, who do you think is going to hold those balloons to keep them from flying away? The pigs, right? Wrong. Even if pigs wanted to hold the balloons, instead of finding filthy puddles to instead of finding filthy puddles on the street to lie in, they couldn't do it. Because while a pig who while pig hooves are good for digging up wild mushrooms, when it comes to holding giant parade balloons, they are simply not up for the job. You know, I kind of agree with that. They don't really have thumbs or anything, so they can't really hold anything very well. They don't have fingers or anything. Hmm. Have you been has your mind been changed at all throughout this story? I know at the beginning I definitely was like, a pig parade wouldn't be so bad, but now I'm not so sure. And what happens when the balloons go unattended? That means when no one's watching them. They bump into buildings or simply drift off into outer space, which would be fine for Martians, but also for those of us trying to enjoy a pig parade here on Earth. Oh man, I guess that would be pretty bad. So when you consider the constant snuffling, the refusal to wear majorette uniforms, the disinterest in pig-themed literary floats, Pigs' preferences for weepy country ballads and their utter lack of discipline regarding proper balloon handling, it should be absolutely, completely, and totally clear that a pig parade is a terrible idea. A panda bear parade, on the other hand, would be fantastic. All right, friends. Our job when we read the story today was to, deter was to determine author's purpose. Freeze. What is author's purpose again? Pause the video and think about it. Ready? 
yeah, author's purpose is why the author is writing the story. And freeze, what are the three different reasons why an author might be writing this story? Yeah, it's to persuade, inform, or entertain. Now, I know early on we were able to cross off inform. There weren't any real facts here because it was about pigs doing a parade. And can that really happen in real life? No. So we were able to quickly determine that inform is not our author's purpose for this story. Hmm. Was it to entertain? Hmm. The author was trying to have us enjoy the story, but do you think that was what he was mostly trying to do, was to entertain us? I'm not so sure. Hmm. Were they trying to persuade us? Were they trying to get us to do something, try something, or believe something? Yes, I definitely think that they were trying to make us believe something. Stop the video and answer what you think the author was trying to make us believe, and how do you know? Ready to go? I think that the author was trying to make us believe that a pig parade is a terrible idea. It's even our title and I heard a bunch of times throughout the story that it said that a pig parade is a terrible idea and they kept giving us reasons over and over again for why it's such a bad idea throughout the entire story. So I know that the author's purpose must be to persuade us to think that a pig parade is a terrible idea. Now, give me a silent thumbs up if your mind changed when you were listening to the story. I know whenever I was reading it, I was thinking, oh, a pig parade wouldn't be so bad. But by the end of the story, the author persuaded me or convinced me that a pig parade would be a terrible idea. All right, friends, you have an exit ticket right after this video where you are gonna be determining author's purpose. You are gonna be determining whether it's to persuade, inform, or entertain. Now, I know we didn't talk too much about inform and entertain today, but no worries. You can look back at this anchor chart in the video to remind yourself what inform means and what entertain means. Get it? Got it? All right. Good luck.